Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. And we could see some remnants of Ida making its way up here, right? I think a little rain in southern Vermont by tomorrow evening. Big flooding, I think, possible in the mid-Atlantic, but I think we just miss it. We're just on the northern edge again. Seems like we're always on the northern edge. But I did want to show you a little bit more of the fun we had earlier. The Belgian horses. A big thank you to Sugar Ridge RV Village and Campground in Danville. They let us go for a ride. It wasn't just a ride. It was the whole parade through the Champlain Valley Fair today at 5 o'clock. Got to put some of that on TV live here on NBC5. Mary Fenoff was driving the horses there through the fair. So thank you to everyone at Sugar Ridge in Danville. We'll have a lot more coverage from the fair in the coming days. And the weather looks like it'll hold up for the most part. Storm Tracker shows a few clouds overhead right now, but the rain is all to our south down in southern Pennsylvania. And I think parts of Pennsylvania will get seven or eight inches from what's left of Ida. So the flooding could be bad in a few spots. We have high clouds for us tomorrow. The heavy rain in southern Vermont tomorrow night and then a nice start to Labor Day weekend. Right now we've actually got some 50s on the map, so it's very comfortable. 58 in Tupper Lake, 64 for St. Albans and Swanton, still hanging on to 70 in Burlington, a 60 in Derby, 65 in Essex, Vermont, and Cabot, 62 right now, 64 in Lebanon. But the dew points are low. They're in the 50s, which means it's not very sticky at all. So here's future cast tomorrow. It's a mainly cloudy day, but these are the thinner, very high clouds. So you can probably still feel the sun or kind of sense that it's up there through the clouds, not producing any rain whatsoever in Burlington or Plattsburgh. But there will be some rain south of Springfield, maybe up to Springfield or up to Lebanon by tomorrow night. But you see we're right on that edge as it moves out and it moves out fast on Thursday. The sun should come out. Now, the sun will mix with clouds on Thursday, but it is a dry day for just about all of us. So that rain is almost all Wednesday night, and it's just for far southern Vermont and New Hampshire. You can see that here. I think an inch or two possible once you head down 91 towards Brattleboro and Keene, and then a lot more even south of there. So tonight we've got a comfortable night. It's dry with 50s, some 40s in the Adirondacks. And then for tomorrow, a little on the cool side, 73 to high in Burlington, 68 in Saranac Lake. So here's the five day forecast with the dry weather. Now this is mostly for the Champlain Valley going along. Remember that rain is in southern areas tomorrow night. And then the start to Labor Day weekend, Friday and Saturday looking dry at this point. But there could be some rain showers on Sunday, maybe with some thunder mixed in by Labor Day itself. But I don't think Sunday or Monday are washouts. Both of those days looking OK, just a few passing showers at this point. So we will watch that. And the next week we are also still in the 70s. So a little cool here as we start September. Alice? Tyler, thanks.